r slash ask reddit who is the best example of you either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become a villain fritz haber he discovered a way to synthesis ammonia from nitrogen and hydrogen gas what is crucial for fertilizers he was also later employed by germany during world war i to find a way to weaponize chlorine thus becoming the father of chemical warfare after successfully doing so basically he saved billions and killed millions marshal philippe Paytan from france ww1 hero after battle of verdun and ww2 head of the collaborationist regime of vichy that helped the nazis jim jones it is said that if he would have died in the 60s he would have been memorialized as a civil rights hero he was the first to integrate churches in Indiana, he pressured local restaurants to allow African Americans to be able to eat there, he paid the bills of the poor, many lived in his house, he adopted needy kids of various ethnicities. He opened soup kitchens in rough neighborhoods, no-cost nursing homes, and lived a modest life with little to his name to make it all happen. He also toured the evangelist circuits to making large sums of money, just about all of which went to support his poor congregation, of which there were thousands of members. After many years of this service, something happened, drugs, narcissism, paranoia, and wild ideologies, that pushed him into a complete monster. He convinced about these poor people to follow him into a jungle to live out their communist fantasies only to be murdered by Jim. 909 918 men, women, and children including Jim and his wife died by poisoning on a single day. Edit, Jim died by gunshot wounds. My dad. He was always against the hoa in our neighborhood. Long story short he wrote an apparently strong worded letter about all the changes he would make, rules he would enforce, etc. There happened to be a vacancy up for grabs and he ended up as the president. Now he walks around a neighborhood bitching about everyone else's yards. Oscar Pistorius From global inspiration after winning multiple gold medals running as a double amputee, to convicted wife murderer. Benedict Arnold He was possibly the Continental Army's best battlefield general, and he led the Americans to victory at the pivotal Battle of Saratoga, where he was wounded. Had he succumbed to his wounds, the Northeast US likely would be covered with statues of the man. As it was, he stood over the lack of recognition of his greatness and eventually sold out his country to the enemy. Now, his name is synonymous with treason. Blizzard Entertainment The African National Congress the party mainly responsible for the liberation of the South African people from the apartheid regime. Now just a group of totally corrupt cronies. Rudy Giuliani, from America's Mayor to A whole load of these examples prove that it's not you become the villain, it's that eventually your secret villainy gets found out. Alice Sebold She wrote a best-selling book about a young girl's rape and murder, the lovely bones, that she said she was able to write because of her own experience of being sexually assaulted. She made millions off the film rights and was hailed as a hero for her strength and resilience. Sebold went on to write a memoir titled Lucky About the Rape. After the memoir was picked up by Netflix as a documentary, producers began to notice inconsistencies in her story and started to suspect something wasn't right. The Netflix project was shelved lawyers got involved, and the case was officially reviewed. DNA evidence proved Broadwater's innocence. It was discovered that she had been coached by police and prosecutors and lied on the stand under pressure, insisting she knew Anthony Broadwater raped her, her claim that she definitely knew it was him was the only evidence against him other than a hair sample that was later debunked as junk science, the man she accused spent 16 years in prison for a rape he didn't commit while she made mad money off being a victim of sexual assault. She went from being a hero to women to victimizing an innocent man. Edit, she eventually apologized. And then here is a good article explaining how the inconsistencies in a memoir she was writing led to the discovery that she had identified the wrong man. Another great article, 
this one from the Times, that details the entire case from the beginning and explains how a team of lawyers had him exonerated. Edit 2, for clarification, Alice Sebold was the victim of a brutal rape. She didn't make that up. She identified the wrong man, an 18-year-old black student at Syracuse, as her rapist. As many have pointed out, she was pressured by prosecutors and the police to make an ID, and as a traumatized young woman the misidentification of her rapist is to some degree understandable. TLDR, she was in fact raped. She identified the wrong man and he was sent to prison for 16 years before a legal team proved his innocence through DNA evidence. Although she was aware of this long before it was made public, Sebold apologized eight days after Anthony Broadwater was released. Kevin Spacey would have gone down as an acting legend. Chrome vs Explorer People forget but Chrome was once viewed as the heroic frontier market breakers. I just hope Firefox will die a hero slash. Jimmy Subville, when he died someone paid 130,000 pounds. 00 for his silver Rolls Royce because it was his car and he was so loved slash famous. His body was displayed in Leeds, my sister went to see, and he was adored across the nation. That was until all of his evil deeds were revealed. His body is now buried in an unmarked grave so that it can't be destroyed. He died a hero but could have easily become public enemy number one, especially in the era of Me Too and Jeffrey Epstein etc., had he lived a little longer. Joe Paterno, Penn State football coach. Built the program into a nation's powerhouse. Got his kids to graduate. Helped build the university in, donated millions. Many of his players still swear by him. But he almost certainly ignored his defensive coordinator Jerry Sandusky grooming and abusing kids through Jerry's charity. Paterno was fired and died shortly after before the investigation was really ever even started. Every time his name comes up now it ignores any good thing he ever did and is only ever associated with Jerry Sandusky. Ang Sung Suukyi Long-suffering symbol of peaceful democratic resistance to tyranny then one sniff of power and she showed she was also a bigoted genocide denier. Lance Armstrong Dude was a cycling legend who successfully battled cancer and was looked upon as an inspiration and motivation by millions. Until they found out that he used performance enhancing drugs. And they stripped his titles. From a cancer defeating sports legend to a drug cheating athlete, his downfall was really sharp. Joss Whedon Facebook when it first came about it was seen as a safe social media because you had to have a student ID to make an account, it was for high school and college students only. Parents slash adults at the time were worried about their kids having contact with adult predators on MySpace following many horror stories from AIM and MySpace interactions. Now it's a shit show of adults posting 24-7 and kids lying about their age to get an account. Data mining users, normalization of sharing personal data and the company not giving a shit about online safety. Jared from Subway Surely not the best example. But self-employment. At some point you'll have grown your business enough to need employees. That's when you are prone to become one of the bad guys you never wanted to work for. Or you simply don't grow enough. Edit, as I said, this isn't the best example. I don't intend to come across as condescending or biased. If you have differing opinions or experiences, please share them. Sunflower The Mysticals Convinces Athens to build a navy to meet the coming Persian threat. Saves Greece from the Persians at the Battle of Salamis. Greeks get jealous of his fame and declare him a traitor. The Mysticals has to run away from the people he saved and ends up serving. The Persian King Artaxerxes, who treats him and his family with honor. Going to go for a historical one. Nero. Started his reign with five great years, probably down to the influence of Seneca and co, with the Quinquennium Neronese, and ended his life declared public enemy number one and having to have his slave do the deed for him. 
probably not the best but Gerhard Schroeder is interesting example. From fairly reasonable Chancellor of Germany doing much needed economic reforms, to Putin's lobbyist playing big part in current energy crises in Europe by single-handedly crippling Germany by using his connections and power to spearhead lobby against nuclear and in favor of dependency on Russian gas. Edit, just to clarify, I am not German, I don't know all the details of German politics. I am saying how the rest of the world saw it from news headlines. Aung San Suuki went from being a Nobel Peace Prize laureate and pivotal figure in moving Burma towards a partial democracy to becoming a supporter of genocide in her country. Google Don't Be Evil is completely wiped out of every web page they own. And for a good reason. Robert Mugabe He freed Zimbabwe from the British Empire and helped other African countries towards decolonization. He then turned into a dictator of his country and fucked up the economy and other stuff. Edit, to be more precise, Mugabe fought against the white minority rule in Zimbabwe, Rhodesia, which resulted from the British colonialism. Chris Benoit He was famous as a pro wrestler until he murdered his wife and child. Philippe Paytan, a French general who played a crucial role in beating Germany in WW1. 25 years later he collaborated with the Nazis and became the head of Vichy France, a German puppet state. O.J. Simpson Michel Platini From hero of the flamboyant but losing French national team of the 80s to a corrupted among corrupted, casting his vote for Qatar to host WC 2022. Me I used to be a good person. Now I'm an asshole. Edit, comments blowing up, I can't reply to everyone but I will say this. If you're finding your temper running away from you and your fuse is short, get help before you snap. You want to avoid doing what I did and sitting in the doctors crying, begging for the help you've been asking for for years because you finally snapped and did something horrible. If the therpe, meds, etc are shit, complain and get better help. Use that anger and bitterness as a tool to get the help you deserve. You're not alone, you're all my heroes. This is honestly the first time I've seen an ounce of humanity on Reddit. Shane Dawson Beloved father of YouTube to someone known for saying inappropriate things about slash around children, potentially fucking his cat, and being a manipulative snake behind the scenes with other YouTubers. One of the swiftest and most efficient cancellations I've ever seen. Edit, he also did blackface a lot, and he had an entire character he would regularly perform blackface skits with. Ellen DeGeneres Victor Orban He once was a hero in the 90s but now he is the main villain in the EU. Just want to say, sometimes it works the other way around, there's been some reconsideration of Chamberlain in the lead up to WW2, it seems a lot of his public statements were forced onto him by the state of the British forces, which he tried to fix, basically, he was told in no uncertain terms they could not fight a war at that point, and he quietly devoted funding to military upgrades etc. Elon, back when no one thought Tesla or SpaceX would succeed at all. Ezra Miller Brett Favre All politicians, once they go from elected official to career politician they become slaves to their donors and the special interests that keep them in office. Half my family, very loving people until past rape came out of the woodwork and they kept relationship with the convicted pedophile instead of the victim. Obviously haven't spoken to them for 10 years now. Aaron Burr Robespierre If Elon Musk died five years ago they'd build statues of him. Now, not so much. Since I haven't seen him mentioned yet. Gaddafi He was once as handsome and charming and popular as a political leader could be and for the first decade or so, the lives of common folks improved under his rule. Then he became as hideous and destructive as possible. 
he literally went from being cheered in the streets to being dragged through the streets and beaten. In my mind, no one captures Hero to Zero better. Frank Grimes, or Grimy, for short. Be the villain you were born to be. Stop waiting for someone to come along and corrupt you. Succumb to the darkness yourself. I suspect 99% of the answers will just be shitty people who we thought were cool. Kanye RN I see a lot of men in here so let me mention something, Nicki Minaj could have been like Missy Elliott, bringing women if rap together and making great music, being a trendsetter, but is now married to a convicted rapist and feeds off of drama. I wish so much for black women, especially in the music world, not to be missing opportunities to sharing the stage and a message of love and sisterhood. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you have enjoyed this video and subscribe to never miss an upload.